Hello and welcome to Romeo 11. Today we are diving into an exciting segment on youth discussion centered around the upcoming Oromo Night, a highlight event organized by Oromo Student Union, OSU, at the University of Minnesota. I'm excited to have two Dynamics leaders from OSU with me, Ayana Banti and Amanne Ittafa. We will be discussing more about the event and its location. Stay tuned. Ayana and Amanne, before we dive into the details, let's get to know you a little bit more. Can you please introduce yourself and your roles to our audience? Yeah, uh, my name is Ayana, and I'm currently the president of OSU at the University of Minnesota. I'm a junior studying kinesiology. Um, I'm Amanne. I'm the MSA liaison at um, OSU, and I am a second year currently, so a sophomore. And I'm double majoring in international studies and art history. Sounds amazing. Ayana, could you please start off us with an overview of OSU and its mission? Yeah, uh, pretty much OSU's mission is pretty much having a community-based group at the University of Minnesota where students of the Roma culture can have somewhere they can feel like they, they have a sense where they belong. And it's a, it serves as like a transition from students coming in from high school and coming into college at the U of M. Uh, what, who are the members of the OSU? Uh, does it members have to be like a U of M student or yeah. it can be any? Yeah, uh, in the past we've had it like open to the public, but since now more people are, are interested in being a member, being a part of the board, it's starting to become more of a university-based group where the board is centered around current uh, U of M students, but most of our events are open to the public of all ages. Ayana and Amani, both of you have been dedicated members of OSU for a few years now. Can you share with our audience your roles within OSU and what inspired you to join? Um, so I've been in OSU two years. I started freshman year and um, I joined because my cousins had been in OSU and they'd really liked it and I've, I've grown up or almost so I was like, this is an amazing opportunity. Um, and you said role too? Yes. So I work as MSA liaison, which means I go to the student government and I represent OSU there and get us any information we might need. Yeah, uh, for me, I feel like in high school, I wasn't really a part of the Roma culture as much as I would have liked to be. And like uh, my sister, my cousins, everyone was more involved in the Roma. And once I became or once I graduated from high school and went to college, I became an intern. That was like my first step in like, actually actively engaging in the Roma culture. And then last year I served as officer and then this year I'm president of OSU. So I feel like I made quite the improvement of participating and being more involved. Reflecting on your time in OSU, what is one standout moment or a memory that you cherish? Um, I would say the Oromo wedding, the fake one that we've done. Um, we started it last year. This is our second year doing it, and we've had a lot of fun planning it and coming up with the event, the different traditions we want to show. I've really enjoyed it. What does it like to do fake Oromo wedding? Um, so we have the fake bride and fake groom, and we have all the bridesmaids and groomsmen. Last year we did it by region, this year we changed it. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like it's a good way to show our culture to other people because a lot of people that aren't Oromo come to this and we play a lot of Oromo music. And so, you know, we're introducing them. <laughs> Are you, Ayana? Um, I would say it's, it's hard to pick one specific moment, but just being a part of Oromo night for the last couple of years and this being my third year, uh, being a part of like organizing and putting like by like, participating in a Roma night it's just like the way we put so much time and effort into like trying to make such a good show and then being able to present it on a Roma night is something that I think I'll cherish for a long time. What do you say the challenges of uh, being an OSU? Um, the challenge I wouldn't really say there are many challenges. I mean, when a Romo night comes closer, you have to dedicate a lot of time to practice. But I really like 
or a monite anyway, so it's not really a sacrifice. It's more fun. Mm -hmm. All right, OSU is known for its effort in celebrating Oromo culture and heritage, both on campus and within broader community. How can students get involved in OSU and where do they find you? Um, yeah, for that, you could email us directly at osu at umn.edu if you want to get into close contact with someone on the board. Um, if you want to just see like what we're doing, what what's like what's new, what events we have planned on, uh, you can follow us on Instagram at osu underscore umn. That's Instagram osu underscore umn, and then that's linked to our Facebook as well. We just got that recovered not too long ago, and that's going to be the same username as the Instagram page osu umn. You heard them. Let's follow them and support them and stand by osu. Okay, moving on to a, a different topic. If OSU had a theme song, what would it? You, what do you think would it be, and why? Yeah, uh, for that, I was thinking about this earlier. I would say, uh, one song that comes to mind is Hachalu's "Esa Jita" because you know, if you're not being a part of OSU, showing up to our events, it's like "Esa Jita." Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? <laughs> How about you? Um, I would say the same thing. I can't beat that. You know? mm -hmm. "Esa Jita." You're right, though. You, we can't. <laughs> um. <laughs> Moving on to the main event, Oromo Night. Could you give us a sneak peek into what the event is? Um, so usually we divide the event into like two sections. We have um, the surba, so the dances, and we have all of our dancers um, to each region. We try to divide it up by region so that everybody is represented. And we also have a drama that we make every year, and we make a new one, new theme. And yeah, we're excited for that. Yeah, and this year's drama is going to be following a young man as he transitions from back home and uh, moves over here to America. That's why our theme is coming to America this year, and we're going to follow him as he transitions and tries to uh, find his way in a high school with other students. Yeah. And that's all I'll say for that now. I cannot wait to see the acting in yeah. that. I know it takes a lot of time to come up with that and actually mm -hmm. practice and perform. Yep. So you guys are doing a great job. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Thank you. Um, where would the event will be held? Um, so this year, we've actually changed the place we're holding it. It's usually at Tedman Hall, but we've upgraded because Oromo Night has gotten a lot of people. And so we're at Northrop um, Auditorium. Uh, we will be saying the address and everything later on, though. Yeah, so make sure you do not go to Tedman this year. No yeah. Tedman. Go to Northrop auditorium they're literally like five minutes apart so make sure you show up at Northrop. Ayana how do you envision Oromo Knight contributing to the broader cultural landscape of the University of Minnesota? Um to the broader sc uh, scope of like the University of Minnesota I hope like the Oromo Student Union becomes just like more known I feel like we really are starting to develop that it's like when people say OSU, it's like we're starting to become more recognizable and it's like more people are wanting to get involved and just trying to really keep that ball rolling, really just keep pushing for OSU to become more known that the whole entire university is something we really want to strive for. I'm a name for students who are not Oromo and not familiar with Oromo culture. How does Oromo Night serve as an educational opportunity? Um, since we show all the dances from all the different regions and our play is centered around um, a normal kid coming to the U.S. from Oromia and the differences and things that he faces in the U.S. And um, so I feel like that shows a lot of our culture just starting off. We all have our cultural clothes, Ada, Kenya, and after the show we're eating budin, wet'i, you know traditional food so they're getting a full lesson on Oromuma. Yeah even at the end of the the day too it's like we have people who aren't even Oromo that participate and actually like dance for us they like help us out act so it's like even people who aren't Oromo have the opportunity to, to like sh like uh be a part of OSU. Yeah. Beyond Oromo Night, what other exciting plans or upcoming event does OSU have in store for us this year? Um, so, we're going to be doing a lot of little events throughout the semester because Oromo Night is like our biggest event and then after that happens we can kind of relax, do some more little fun little events, get to bond with the community. Um, one of our 
bigger events that we're thinking about that we haven't given a date to yet is um, the alumni project. We want to bring in alumni that have gone to the U of M, to the University of Minnesota that are Oromo or have been like past OSU board members and we want them to come in and talk to high school students from around the area and other college students to kind of bond them and give information that they might have because we have a lot of like we have a wealth of information you know we have people that have moved on they probably know things more than we do and they can help out the younger generation yeah it would be a good opportunity to mentor the high schoolers mm -hmm. Uh, as a wrap-up, do you have any advice or key takeaways for our viewers, especially regarding the upcoming event, Oromo Night? Um, yeah, I would say, you know, make sure you guys show up on March 2nd at Northrop Auditorium. Bring a friend, bring two friends, you know, bring as many people as you can. And make sure, you know, you cancel all your plans and show up and be there. Yeah, I mean, come and enjoy it. It's an event meant for you. Um, yeah, that's it. What is the date and also the address? Um, so it's at March 2nd at 5 p.m. At North of Auditorium, and the address is 84th Church Street, Southeast Minneapolis, 55455. Make sure you cancel all your plans on March 2nd, 2024. Bring a friend to North of Auditorium and be at Aroma Night. Ayana and Amande, thank you for joining me today. All right, thank, thank you for you having us. us. As we come to the end of our program, it's clear that Oromo Night is a highlight that you don't want to miss. Please mark on your calendar and remember to bring your family and friends. Until next time, see you.